Greetings guys, this is Magnanima's Mind Lectures Online. Uh, we are doing uh, electrical tree theory and two transformers. This is example 4 which is about three phase transformers. The question, this question, the question says a 400 kilovolt amps delta star transformer has a tense ratio of 10 is to 1 the transformer supplies a load at 340 volt calculate 1 the supply line voltage 2 the secondary phase current 3 the primary phase current so let's try to answer that so firstly we'll have to write down the data that we are given so our s is 400 kilovolt amps and then our tens ratio n1 over n2 equals to 10 is to 1 and then we are told that the transformer supplies a load at so it supplies a load at 380 so the load we know it's always on the secondary side so v2 equals to 380 volts so note that whenever you're given a voltage in three phase and you are not told whether it's phase or line voltage it's always line so this is l2 vl2 and then Question one says uh, calculate the supply current, line current. Question two, the secondary phase current. Question three, the primary phase current. So before doing that, uh, we have to like uh, draw the configurations so that we take that into consideration when making calculations calculations so we are told it's delta star okay the formulas for for delta are as follows v phase equals to v line i phase equals to i line over square root of three and then for y v phase equals to v line over square root of three and I phase equals to V line. So those are the formulas and we have to keep them in mind and use them when necessary. So the first question says calculate the supply line voltage. So we've got VL2 equals to 380 volts and we can use uh, the normal formulas for transformers v1 over v2 equals to n2 over n1 uh, equals to n1 over n2 equals to i2 over i1 we can make use of this but before we make use of that we have to convert like all our values to phase uh, values because when we solve a three phase transformer we actually just solve one transformer one phase from the three phases and that automatically solves the whole transform the whole three phase transform so we have to convert this to uh, phase voltage so to get v phase 2 we're going to divide vl2 by square root of 3 that's 380 over square root of 3 and that uh, gives us 219.39 volts. Then from there we use the normal formulas, which is V1 over V2 equals to N1 over N2. So V phase 1 equals to N1 over N2 V phase 2 which n1 is 10 n2 is 1 times 
219.39 and this gives us 2193.93 volts that's it for question one and then question two says the secondary phase current so to calculate the secondary phase current we are going to make use of the apparent power formula which is which says s equals to square root of 3 v line i line to get the secondary phase current and then if you check we've got s and we've got v line which is given to us in this question so we make i l subject of the formula so s over square root of 3 v line equals we substitute what we have 400,000 over square root of 3 times 3 8 and we get 400,000 400, over square root of 3 times 3 8 we get 607.737 seven amps so that's IL2 that's the secondary phase current then we are told to calculate uh, the primary phase current then to do that we can make use of uh, V1 over V2 or, or we can make use of I1 over I2 equals to N2 over N1 or make use of this so let's start with this so making use of this our i uh, l1 will be equals to s over square root of 3 vl1 and we substitute what we have is 400,000 over square root of 3 and then vl1 in this case since this side is the delta side so our v phase is equals to our vl so it's going to be 2193.93 then when we punch that into the calculator we get 2193.93 we get 105.263 amps then let's try the other approach the other approach is i1 over i2 equals to n2 over n1 therefore i l1 equals to i, I phase 1 equals to n2 over n1 i phase 2 and since this it's a y configuration on the uh, secondary side i phase equals to i line so n2 equals to 1 and n1 equals to 10 times uh, i phase 2 which is equals to i line 2 which is 067.737 punch that into the calculator 1 over 10 times 607.737 something like I made a mistake and we get uh, Sixty point seven seven four amps, and I've just realized that I didn't convert this to phase. So to convert this to phase, I phase equals to I line was square root of three, which is one hundred and five point two six three over square root of three. Therefore punch that into the calculator 105.263 over square root of 3 it gives us the same answer 
times and that's it for example four thanks for watching magnanimous lectures online please do subscribe to our channel as well as following us on our social media pages on facebook where magnanimous minds with a z instagram magnanimous underscore minds with a z twitter at magnanimous mean one mean spelled as m i n one as a digit thank you